Okay, in this chapter we're going to be looking at um, forms and a form with a subform. And if you look in your book, chapter 5, page 275, you'll see the Business Analyst Master Form. And there's some extra information on there that wasn't in the table yet. For example, there's a picture, there's a Word document, there's a telephone number, there's a certification check mark. So these things we have to put into the table, then when we make the form, they'll be they'll come into the form. So for that I'm going to open the business analyst table or the business in design view and I want to add some fields down here and the fields are uh, certification and I have my cap locks on certification and this is a yes no field okay um, the next one is start date and this is of course a date time field then we need a comment field which they're calling memo now the difference between a memo and a, a straight text box is that a text box allows up to 256 characters uh, well 255 is the maximum field size and in reality that's usually enough for a comment but because we're in class and they want us to practice um, we're going to put memo and that allows up to 2,500 uh, characters, which is a ginormous memo. That's that's just a report, but we don't really need that. If we needed that, we would use the attachment data type, and we're going to in a second. All right, the next field is a picture, and this is an Olay object, object link embedded, and that means that the picture will be embedded inside the database. Oh, you know what? I'm going to close this. All right. And the last one is client notes. And this is an attachment. So we can add um, uh, documents to the, to the database now. Um, we need to add a phone number field up here between state and postal code. No, I'm going to put it after the zip code. So if I want the field after the zip code, I'm going to go to year to date salary and insert a row because it'll insert it up above. So this is going to be phone number. And this is a text field because we're not using these true numbers as numbers. Um, but we, what we do want to do is we want an input mask here. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here under input mask and there's already some predefined um, masks. So you've probably run into these before. When you put in a telephone number it will already have, you see the, the um, parentheses and everything here. So you can see when I click down in here then all I have to do is type numbers. Um, I'm not putting anything else in but that. Okay. Um, we also have, you know, social security number, zip code, and some other things you can see. All right. We want the phone number. Um, and it says, do you want some placement? So you could have this, and this is what it looks like, instead of the straight. You could have this, and that's what it looks like. But we'll just leave it as that. Um, that line there. Uh, and this is mainly for the computer. So if you choose this, then it makes your database bigger because there's a space, there's a dash, there's two parentheses. The computer doesn't need those things. We need those as humans to be able to differentiate between the numbers, but the computer doesn't, so I just leave it as the default. And that's it, it's finished. So it brings it in as this. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go to datasheet view and yes we'll save it and here's the phone number and it we start off right here and we will add the phone numbers and I'm not going to do all of these um, two four three six you'll finish all of those all right um, the yes no box you can see yes means it's checked no means it's not no check means it's not 
there's some start date and look it's got a calendar for us that's handy but oftentimes the calendar is current and if they started 10 years before you don't want to you know go through 10 years here so you can write the date in there and in this case it's 524 um, 2010 now I'm gonna do it like this and when I hit the tab key I'm gonna see how it formats it it added the 2010 in there for me um, and if you want a 05 well this can be formatted in the design view of this field here's the date and time you can format it a certain way okay so there's your choices there okay you can also add your own but anyway we won't get into that all right Let's scroll over the comment field. Um, we're going to add a comment here. Master's degree in information. Whoops. Systems Secretary of a National Information Systems Organization. So, oh. Did I hit the tab key and it just didn't get all of my typing in there? Oh my goodness. Master's degree Let me just quickly type this again. Information systems. Now you have to type right or it's not going to get it. And I'm not typing very well today. Uh, Secretary of a and I think I have a typo in there so I want to see this and my field isn't very big but what I can do is I can drag this bigger and it makes all of the all of them bigger but that's all right I'm making this bigger so I can see you decide how big you want it in information secretary of a national information systems organization oh okay I think I'll do it like that I don't know how big the other ones are all right um, and then there's of course there's something in each one of these fields you're going to finish I'm only doing the first one all right let's talk about pictures for a second this picture field oh, um, I'm going to right click. Let me just show you how I would do it. I would right click, whoops, and I would choose insert object. And what is the object? Well, I'm not creating a brand new one. The object is already made. It's already a picture. It's on a camera. It's in your computer somewhere. So I'm going to browse and find the picture. And we have them on the student files in the BTEC 175. 180 area or wherever your student files are they're probably on your flash drive so here we have four pictures I have some extra pictures in here you can see them and they're all BMPs right JPEGs will not work in here and here's some extra pictures now if you want to see what those pictures look like you can tell it to you know show icons uh, let's try large icons so here we can see the pictures right um, here's uh, let's look at more pictures here's more people and then we have oh yeah that's it um, and then extra pictures okay we have some extra pictures in here all right so choose one of the pictures I'll just pick this lady it doesn't matter it's a BMP and I'll say okay now I'm not going to see the picture in here and it actually says paintbrush picture now that's because that's the default on my computer here in my office it would be different at home because I have a different um, soft editing picture editing software at home versus even down in the computer lab or in the classrooms we have different ones too so this will say different things depending on the software you have installed on your computer for editing a picture and in fact when I double click that's the software that will come up and sure enough paint comes up let me close this door all right so last thing in here is we're going to insert an object and um, I can double click and it should open the yes attachments double click to open or I can right click and choose manage attachments and it opens the same thing so I need to add some attachment 
Um, I have to browse to find it in the Chapter 5 documents. Uh, let me go back here. Hmm, they should be in here. And it is Access Data. Okay, it must be in here. And the thing we want for this one is a... There's two of them. One of them is Cordelia Carey Clients. Cordelia Carey Clients. Ooh, let me see. Chapter 5. Well, I hope I have them here for you. If not, I will get them. Okay, so I'm not seeing them here. Uh, let me put it in list view. Um, so I will... Oh no, there it is. Cordelia Clients list view. I will open that and then I need to add one more. Um, this is an Excel document. Cordelia carry potential clients. So you can see I see my uh, icons there. Okay and I say okay and there's two objects there. Alright all of the things are in my table now that I need to make my form. Um, it's asking me if I want to save the layout, right, because I've changed the size of the um, rows and heights. Yes, I want to save that. Now when I go to make my form, I don't have a form yet for my business analysts, um, all of my information will be there on my table and I make the form from that. I'm going to create a different video for creating the form. I think I'm going to call this one um, adding fields to a table. So this I want you to finish up your table, make sure all of the information is populated inside this table before you go on and create your form.